Evan and Jess, this is the app and what it looks like. It's called the Rave Panic Button. Now it sends an alert to law enforcement as well as staff and students in hopes to allow them time to get to a safe place to shelter in place while law enforcement responds to the threat. That's exactly what we saw here at Rose State College yesterday. Time is of the essence in anything like this, and most of us have those phones in our hand all the time. An alert sent straight to your cell phone, telling students and staff to shelter in place when there's an active threat. Rose State College used this app called Rave yesterday to notify students of an active shooter on campus. Under the active assailant and the fire button, those buttons are designed to notify all the staff assigned to that campus. So they'll get an email, a text message, and a in-app notification. The app then prompts whoever sends the alert to call 911, or in some cases. In the case of Rose State, uh, Midwest City PD had the rave portion installed in their 911 center. So Panic Button integrates directly with that 911 center. So they instantly see who pushed the button, which button, and they can start communicating with that person. It sends alerts straight to officers and tells them exactly where to go. That greatly reduces the amount of time it takes to get help where it's needed and all the staff instantly know to, to go into lockdown. OHP says they've seen this used multiple times now here at Rose State, as well as the swatting hoax at the University of Oklahoma, saying it helps response times and gives families and those on site peace of mind. Seeing and knowing that law enforcement is responding heavy, loud, and as quickly as possible, things like this and the response gives great confidence to parents uh, and teachers, faculty, students. Look, Oklahoma is doing it right. Now, Rave says that about 95% of schools here in Oklahoma, as well as many of those 911 dispatch centers, have Rave installed in their systems. And Trooper Eric Foster with the Oklahoma Highway Patrol said that they've tested it both in cities throughout Oklahoma as well as rural counties. And he's been extremely impressed with the response times of officers to keep Oklahomans safe.